I, I'm not going to leave anything on the field. I'm going to give as much as I can, be present as much as I can, experience as much joy as I can every moment and just, just do it. It's not really about dying at all. It's all about how am I living because I actually could die tomorrow. And so is today the life I want? We don't want to face death. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to hear about it. We don't want to accept the surest fact we know about death, that it will happen to us. So folks my age have seen their parents die slow, complicated, filled with questions and deaths. And the baby boomers are saying, wait a minute, we don't want that. I think we have to look at what's heroic. I'm scared, and for the first time in my life, that I ever said to anybody, please help me. <laughs> you know, perhaps it's heroic to be so vulnerable. I'm as happy as I've ever been, even though, you know, even though this, I don't got much time. So I like to say in hospice work, our cure rate runs about 0%, but we're pretty good at healing. A lot of times people at the end will kind of slightly open a door to a to a bigger reality. I'm, I'm dealing with each and every moment as it comes along to the maximum degree that I can. And that makes me happy. And let the people who are left behind just have a little kind of a peek in to a bigger reality. And that's a really, that's a gift. I'm a happy woman. Every time I look at dying, it makes me look at how I'm living. So it makes me feel more alive. That's just a taste of immense possibilities, our weekly series on inspired projects and people we want you to know about. See that click here link below? Good. That's where you click to watch this full episode to find out more about immense possibilities.